G'day folks, today I'm reviewing the Milwaukee M12 soldering iron. Now I've got to say this is once again another brilliant innovation from the Milwaukee guys. I know we've had portable gas ones for years but from my experience they never seem to last very long when you're on the job. You only have to drop them a couple of times and the igniter part no longer works and then you have to try and light it manually with a cigarette lighter and just about burn your fingers off in the process. So this to me looks really promising. So from out of the box, it's ready to go with the insertion of an M12 battery. The design of the soldering iron looks and feels rugged and high quality like most Milwaukee gear. It's got a good feel and sits in the hand quite comfortably. The head of the iron is adjustable and lets you lock it into three positions and if you can partner it with one of the M12 extended capacity batteries, such as a four or six amp hour, you can stand it up on a bench to allow you to use two hands for soldering and holding your material. Milwaukee specs on this little unit are 18 second heat up time, now that's pretty good for something that's battery operated, maintains optimised temperature so no adjustability here, we will see how that goes during the testing later on. Tool free tip change, it comes with two heads, a pointed and chiselled tip, 45 minutes of run time on a 2 amp hour battery, well I'm mind blown, I was expecting something like 15 minutes on an extended capacity battery, but this is just extraordinary. LEDs to indicate it's warming up, ready to use, off and still hot, battery level plus it's got a working light so you can see what you're soldering better. Okay let's give it some field tests and check how it performs. Now I'm going to be soldering two sample pieces. One is joining a piece of 2.5mm or 14AWG copper wire and the other is joining a piece of 6mm or 10AWG copper wire. So I'm going to start with a smaller piece and what I'll do is speed round the video with a timer on the screen to make it a little less boring for you guys at home. So yeah, it heats up really quick, it appears to be doing a good job of getting the heat into the cable. Please try and forgive my soldering skills, I used to solder a lot back when I was an electrical apprentice and repairing a lot of welders but now it's a rare task for me. I sure would have loved one of these back in the day though. If you're soldering this size and smaller cable a lot, then I'd have no hesitation in getting one of these, it's doing a good job here. Okay, that did a pretty good job of the 2.5mm or 14 AWG. Let's go ahead and try it out on the bigger wire. Okay, so I'm getting a bit of heat in there, but I can tell there's a big difference between the two cables. It is struggling to transfer the solder onto the wire compared to the 25 or 14 AWG. The insulation is getting quite hot on the wire. If you're soldering this cable all day every day, this is probably not the product for you. But if you need it to get you out of trouble every now and then, then go for it. Okay, so I've got to say I'm pretty impressed with this soldering iron. My only concern is it would be nice to have a bit more heat and also be able to adjust the temperature, which I think could be achievable given it gets 45 minutes on a 2 amp hour battery. Mind you, this is a first generation product, so it's probably on the cards and once this has been on the market for a while and Milwaukee have refined the design, it will happen. It will be interesting to see how long these last once they've been dropped a few times, but the feel of it seems pretty tough. Usability is comfortable and light to use, although a bit heavier than a gas or standard electric soldering iron. It's never really a concern though whether you hold it in your hand or stand it up. If you're a sparky automotive or electronics technician, this is something that you'll find useful in your toolkit and it takes a hassle out of refilling with gas or looking for a power outlet to plug your lead into and make the job a little bit more simplified. Okay, well that's a review done and dusted. Thanks for watching once again.